Today's review is going to be on my Daisy 889, which is basically a Gamo 1200. Um, it is made in Spain, and this one is marketed for Daisy. It is a 13 shot pump action semi automatic CO2 177 caliber pellet rifle. It has an actual wood stock and wood foregrip. The CO2 cartridge is housed inside of this housing here. When you remove this screw and plug, drop in your CO2 cartridge face forward and then tighten it down. It does have a front sight and a rear sight, which is adjustable for windage and elevation. It has a magazine follower that does mark that does lock into place. You load your uh, flat nose pellets into this little port here. Once you're done, you tilt it forward and let it go. It does have a cocking indicator and it is on both sides to let you know that the rifle is cocked. That's pretty awesome. Manual safety here, safe and fire. Has a dovetail on the top of the rifle for mounting the scope, which I did. It's a three by nine optic. This rifle has probably the smoothest pump action of any CO2 rifle that I personally have fired. To me, it's awesome. It also has a really, really, really nice trigger. The only issue I have with the trigger is from the stock to the trigger is a long, long reach. So that's the only issue I have. Really, as far as I can tell, that's my only dislike I have for this is the fact of the long reach from the grip to the trigger, as you can see. Has a nice butt pad. And pretty much that's about it. Let's uh, see what this trigger breaks up. I got two pounds, 9.3 ounces. Let me try that one more time. Two pounds, 10.7 ounces. So as I was saying, it's it's a really smooth pump action and a really, really, really nice trigger. Um, one of the best air gun triggers on a rifle that's, you know, a low low dollar rifle. Well, these are kind of expensive now that I like. It's, it's the trigger's really nice, I must say. You have to actually pump this thing to see what I'm talking about. And what's nice is, as you can see, it's kind of spring loaded. So you really don't have much effort pushing it back forward. So the action is awesome. The trigger is awesome. So now let's see what the velocity is. So for the velocity test, I'll be using the RWS Meisterklugen, which is a seven grain flat nose pellet. Not sure with uh, that one low velocity reading, but uh, somewhere near, looks like it's clocking near 600 feet per second. So not bad for uh, this old uh, CO2 rifle. So 
So next up will be the accuracy test. I'll be using the RWS R10 match pellet. It's a seven grain pellet. The distance is 20 yards and I'll do a five shot group. Let's go down range and see how I did. I would say um, pretty good for an old CO2 Daisy pump action pellet rifle. And the center is literally gone. Again, that's five shots at 20 yards. So I'm gonna try something a little different here. I got five cans downrange from the table, it's 30 yards. I'm gonna see if I can take them down, but I'm gonna do it standing and I'm gonna to try to do it with the scope on three power. So this may be an ultimate fail, we'll see. So, as you can tell, it started off really, really bad, but it ended really, really good. So, I'm actually amazed I hit that. So, for the conclusion on this rifle, I have to say that there have been very few times in my life where I purchased something and 
generally, you know, when I buy something, I'm expecting the best from it. I'm expecting it to be somewhat awesome, to be somewhat cool. And a lot of times, especially with these air guns, I am disappointed. This is one of those few gems that I have to say, when I was looking at them, I did not expect much. Um, as a matter of fact, I said to myself, it's probably just going to be a piece of garbage, but let me find out for myself. And, you know, I purchased it. I got the rifle before I even shot it. I tore it down. I resealed it. I greased it. Put it back together. Mounted the scope. And again, this is before I even fired the first shot. And to my surprise, this rifle is absolutely amazing. Again, I was expecting some jump and it is far from it. It's accurate, it's reliable, it's smooth, it's got an awesome trigger, it's got an awesome feel, real wood. I, I, I really can't say much for it. I mean, I say much more, it's just, it's just an awesome rifle. It's easy to dis disassemble, it's easy to put back together, um, it's easy to replace the seals, it is just, an absolute gem so I must say that if you have a chance to get one I would say get it if you can get it for a good price um, I think I got mine for a really good price um, and I must say that whoever had it before me they actually really took good care of it so I think I got kind of lucky but as far as the rifle is it is it is absolutely amazing for a CO2 rifle. I mean, it, I wish a lot of my Crossman rifles, especially a lot of the old Crossman rifles, were this good. You know, I mean, it's not the most powerful, maybe not the most accurate. It has power, it's had accuracy, but just the feel of it and its reliability. I mean, the pump action is just, I, I have very, if you use the right pellets, you won't have an issue at all. Uh, by the way, don't use Gamo alloy match pellets in this. That's a no-no. But you use a good flat nose pellet and stick with a flat nose pellet. And it's just, it's just absolutely amazing. So again, if you have a chance to get one of these things, this 889 Daisy, I don't know how the Gamo is. I'm assuming they're the same, but this Daisy 889, is an awesome, awesome, awesome rifle. I absolutely love it. I just, I just knew it was not going to be that great. And it just, the first time out, it just blew my mind. I was like, man, I should have gotten one of these things a long time ago. So, but that's it on the Daisy 889. It's a gem and a true keeper.